This is the small turntable gear. It consists of two parts that move together like this. Nope, they move independently. <clears throat> this is the small turntable gear, which has two parts, and they move independently like so. You'll notice that each part has two connecting points, and there's a hole in the middle. A small turntable gear is useful in a situation where you might have a fairly large structure that you're looking to uh, rotate and by using a single axis this might cause a lot of pressure on that single point assuming the structure is large and heavy. Instead the turntable gear can be used because it has the two attachment points both on the bottom connecting to the base as well as at the top connecting to any large structure that you create. In this way you can get the rotational motion for the structure but also the structural stability due to the multiple points of connection. The other feature about the turntable gear is the fact that it has that hole in the middle. This allows two points of rotation around a single axis. That is this outer rotation and then simultaneously there can be another rotation happening within the center. To demonstrate this, I've created this fairly complex structure here that has the small turntable gear here in the middle and it has two axes coming up through it. By using this complex gearing I'm able to create a sort of clock with both hands rotating at different speeds but around this same center axis point. All this is achievable thanks to that small turntable gear.